Hi everyone, my name is Claudia and welcome to My Protein's Workout From Home series. Today we will be working through a mandala vinyasa yoga practice. And now with mandala yoga, we aim to flow 360 around the yoga mat. So the class will be quite active, but there will be times for you to rest if you need it. There'll be times for you to invert and there'll be times for you to up level. But I'm gonna guide you through everything. So let's go ahead and get started in a seated position. Cross your legs. So nice and tall, close down your eyes and let's just have you lift your shoulders up and back and down so you can lift through your chest space, so you can expand through your heart and then place one hand on your heart, place one hand on your belly and begin to relax. Begin to breathe. Begin to find stillness. Knowing that stillness might just be the hardest quality to achieve right now in this new world order. And using that breath as a gateway to the sacredness within you and to the sacredness around you as you sense, as you feel, as you perceive all of the people that are breathing with you right now as you take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and clear that breath out. Now I want you to use the breath less as one that is just sustaining you and more of one that is fully awakening you to this very present moment. So again, take a big breath in, open the mouth, sigh it out, one last cycle and maybe you can make that exhale even more vocal, make it even more audible. So again, inhale, exhale, beautiful my loves, now with that, begin to drop the hands forward. Blink your eyes open and then shift forward. Meet me in a tabletop pose. So we'll stack the shoulders over the wrists, the hips are over the knees. And then why not, let's just get started with a few rounds of cat cow to really undulate the spine and articulate the back body. So pressing the hands down, we'll begin to lift the chest, flexing the lower back, spreading the collarbones, taking the gaze up to the sky. And I want you to think about pinching the shoulders here, okay? So drop the chest and pinch through your shoulder girdle. And then as we breathe out, we reverse. So press that down through the hands, draw the chin in, puff the back of the heart space up to the sky, and really tilt the hips. So tuck the hips under. Good, do it again. So breathe in to cow pose. Over-exaggerate the movement. Breathe out to cat. A teacher once told me you're only as young or as old as your spine, so enjoy this. Inhale, one more, nice happy cow, smiling through your chest. Exhale to an angry cat, round. <laughs> and then reset, come to a neutral tabletop. Let's extend our right leg back behind us, curl the toes under, and we'll just stretch out through the right hamstring. So really breathe the right heel to the back of your yoga mat. Working in to the muscles, into the hamstring, into the ligaments, the tendons, the fascia, the bones, everything that holds our beautiful bodies together. Now breathe into your body, breathe into the back of the leg, inhale, exhale. Good, now we'll begin to engage through our abdominal wall. So let's have you just swing the left foot out to the left, okay? So that's gonna be like a little break. And then we're gonna stack the right hip on top of the left hip, sweeping the right arm all the way to the front of the yoga mat. So right now I'm in this modified side plank. And it's actually a really yummy side body stretch. So you can absolutely stay here if this feels enough. If you want to work through the abdomen some more, you're gonna come with me. Bringing that right foot up in line with your hip. And we're gonna to begin to pull. So I want you to stretch from your right fingertips all the way down to the right heel. Taking a breath in as you elongate. Then as we breathe out, we'll bring our elbow to meet the knee. So contract, compress, 
engage. Do it again. Inhale, reach forward, reach backwards. It's kind of like Superman. <laughs> Exhale, draw it in. One more. Utilize the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Now re extend. Now we've engaged through the front body, it should protect our back body. So option now is to bend the right knee, reaching the right hand to grab for the ankle. Now if you can grab the ankle, I'm gonna encourage everyone to kick the shin back so you can lift your chest and rotate the right shoulder open, lengthening through your neck, opening and breathing, inhale. Exhale. Gorgeous, my loves, listen. I'm going to start to rotate my right hand around the foot. Draw the right knee in towards your chest and then float the right foot to the top of the yoga mat. Swing that left foot back in line with the knee. It's just a nice little smooth transition so we can eventually end up in a low lunge. Now I want you to walk your hands forward, drop down through the left quadricep, working into this left hip flexor too and making sure the navel is in to protect the lower back. Now check in with your chest. Can you lift through your heart space and roll your shoulders back some more? Lengthen from the tailbone all the way up to the crown of the head. And then breathe into any of those sweet spots. Inhale. Gentle exhale. Gorgeous. Step the right knee back. What goes around comes around. In the words of Justin Timberlake. <laughs> so let's Breathe the left foot all the way back. Curl the toes under, heel pushes back, and just take a moment here. Working into the back of the leg. Should feel nice if you've been doing a lot of linear movements, a lot of these other workouts at home. <laughs> and then again, we'll start to engage through our front body as we swing the right foot out, stacking the left hip on top of the right hip, reaching the left arm up and over the head. Modified side plank. Again, this is absolutely enough. If you do that on the other side, come with me. Left foot lifts up. We breathe as we reach forwards and backwards. And then as we breathe out, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Let it be fluid. Inhale, reach forwards and back. Exhale, draw it in. Moving with your energy, with your power, with your chi. Again, inhale. Exhale. Nice, now reach all the way back out. We'll go for that back bend. Bend the knee, left hand towards the ankle. So I like to grab my ankle so I can flex the foot and that helps turn the leg on some more as I kick the shin back and open the chest. So this is a counterbalance. I keep kicking the shin and then pulling the foot to open. Now breathe in to the layer that you're in, inhale. Slow, steady exhale. Gorgeous, we draw the knee in, reposition the hand around the foot, and then step in the foot to the top of the yoga mat. Just a smooth little transition, so eventually we end up in a low lunge. Check in with that right foot, make sure it's back in line with the knee, and then start to send the right hip down. Lower through your trunk, but lift through your chest. So you can imagine that your body right now is like a hot air balloon. As you exhale, allow the hips to descend, and as you inhale, let the chest ascend. Good, one more. Inhaling, we're opening. Exhale, we're softening. Nice, now step the left knee back. We're in tabletop. Spread all 10 fingers, root down through each and every fingertip. So you're gonna really protect the wrist. And then plug down through the toes. So curl the toes under. Bring the knees off the yoga mat. Glide your bum up and back and keep lifting through your hips. So everyone at home, lift your hips high, high, high to the sky. Lifting up with as much buoyancy and energy and vitality as possible so we can lengthen the sides of the body. And I'd encourage everyone to take a bend in the knees here to find more space in the lower back. Now breathe in and then breathe out. Nice, now look forward. Walk your toes forward. Eventually, we will come to a forward fold. So the knees are soft. We're folding from the hips. The skull is heavy. Now, I invite everyone to bring a little bit of movement in here. So you can sway. You can grab hold of opposite elbows. You can interlace the hands around the neck, around the back. You can pull so you can flutter the lips. <laughs> I want you to just feel a sense 
sense of release or even of relief. <laughs> come to let go, come to let any chaos, any craziness, any clutter just spill out from the mind. And then hopefully with this newfound sense of lightness, we can start to roll the body up, raising and rising to this new level of existence, to a high frequency. Placing the hands on your body and noticing how you've already started to move and shift into much more of an organic state. Now let this stay set the bar for the rest of this practice. Now come back to your breath practice, breathe in, part the lips and breathe out. Beautiful, now stay with the breath. Sweep your arms all the way up, the thumbs are gonna touch. Look up, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, fold all the way forward. So extend your arms forward. Bend into the knees, drop the skull. We've just been here. We're hanging like a rag doll. From halfway lift, from forward fold rather, take it to halfway lift. So fingers can come under your shoulders or to your shins. Wherever you're gonna get your longest spine, drawing the navel in and lifting the chest forward. Now as we breathe out, we'll drop the hands and set the feet back, high plank. Take a moment to arrive in high plank. So I want you to press your hands down and protract the shoulders as you draw the chin in. Check in with your belly, so keep it zipped in. And then send the heels back. Hello legs. <laughs> now from this strong base, begin to drop the knees down. Lower the chest down in between your thumbs. It's a modified push-up. Also known as chest around here in yoga. The elbows are in, the neck is still long. So we lower all the way down to the earth, and then from the earth energy, we peel the spine up to a little back bend, baby cobra pose. If your back feels ready for it, if you wanna go there, you can press the hands into the mat, lift the chest higher to king cobra. Or if you wanna take it all the way to up dog, you can be my guest, the thighs are off the yoga mat. You always get to choose, just listen to your body and become more intuitive. Now as we breathe out, we will meet in downward facing dog once more. Coming back to that inverted V shape. Take your time, there's no rush. And then find the breath. So together, take a big breath in. And then a deep breath out. Okay, now the body should feel a little more warmed up now. Let's begin to root down through the left foot and lift the right leg all the way up and back behind us. Now draw the right heel towards your glute. Shift yourself forward, bringing your shoulders over your wrist. Scorpion the back, so imagine you're a little scorpion here. That right toe is your tail. Flip the tail towards your head and then send your head towards your toe. Keeping your chest open and then using the strength of your hamstring and your quadricep. Good, now re-extend. Three-legged dog. Keep the navel drawing in. Then as we breathe out, we're gonna set this right foot all the way forward in between the thumbs. Big step up. Moving with all of your potential, moving with ease and effortlessness. So eventually the right knee is over the ankle. I'm going to bring my right hand to the right corner of the yoga mat. The weight comes forward and then I float the left foot up, half moon. Stack the left hip on top of the right hip and reach the left arm up to the sky. Does this feel familiar? Hey, <laughs> this is how we started, a little similar. So again, I want you to draw everything into the midline of the body, engaging from the left toes all the way to the left fingertips, opening and breathing, inhale. As we exhale, left foot is gonna glide back and we'll come into warrior two. So set the left foot to the back of the yoga mat. Open your arms out. This is just for a transition. Now spin all 10 toes out, bend into your left knee and lower your hip towards the knee or the heel. Bring your hands to your heart center. Now we all live in different bodies, so we're all gonna get to different places. Maybe your hands can come to the earth. Maybe you have the capacity to lower your hip all the way down towards the heel. Over time, we will be able to flex the right toes. There's really no right or wrong though. There's just here and now and breathing in your body. So do that, breathe in and then breathe out. Good, now start to twist to the back. I told you it's going to be a dynamic practice, flowing 360 around the mat. So don't try, don't overthink this. Bring the right hand under your right shoulder and lift the left arm up to the sky. 
easy twist. It's actually not that easy though, so if you want to drop the right knee, option. Second option is to spin the toes to the left and work into the outer hip some more. Third option, you're going to pulse with me. So the left hand is going to reach back. And then as we breathe in, arm is going to lift up and over you. Exhale, reach back. You can even lower down through the right hip a little more. Good, two more. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. One more, make it intentional. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Now meet me in a high plank, facing the back of your yoga mat. Drop the left hand and then float the left foot back. Lower, knees, chest, chin, belly, down to the earth. From the earth, we lift up to the sky, back bend. Remember your options, cobra, king cobra, or upward facing dog. Then as we breathe out, we are riding down dog. Now let's just take a cheeky breath together. So inhale, and then let it go, exhale. <sighs> Okay, left side, lift the left leg high, bend the knee, shift forward so the shoulders come over your wrists. Press the hands down to lift the chest and really use the strength of your abdomen to protect the back as you reach the toe towards the head and the head towards the toe. Just visualize that you're there and you pretty much halfway are. <laughs> now re-extend and breathe in, neutralize the hips, Exhale, foot lands all the way forward in between the thumbs. Big step up, moving with that ease again. So left hand this time to the left corner of the yoga mat. Root down through the foot and the hand and float the right foot up. Stack the hips, reach the right arm up. Half moon. Don't worry if you're wobbling or if you're shaking, I am. That's actually when the pose starts when we can listen to how we respond to ourselves. We can listen to how we react, always choosing to move from a place of love and compassion for our bodies. Now breathe into your body. As you breathe out, warrior two. Left knee bends, float the right foot all the way back. Warrior two. Open your arms. And then we transition to Skandasana. So spin all 10 toes out. Bend deep into your right knee and lower your hip towards the right knee or the heel. Hands can come to the earth or you can bring your hands to your heart center. Opening through the hips and lifting through your chest. Take a moment to arrive. And if you do have the flexibility to lower the hips all the way down, I want you to check in that you're not just dumping into the joints. Press down to lift and find that engagement. Now breathe in here. As you breathe out, start to twist to the front of the yoga mat. Let's take it home. Left knee can drop down. We've got easy twists. Or you can spin the toes to the right. Options to pulse. Right hand is going to reach back behind you. As you breathe in, lift the arm, lift the hips. Exhale, reach back, maybe you lower. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, make it even more powerful. Big breath in, deep breath out. Beautiful, and then lift all the way back. We have high plank. Let's work through a vinyasa, chaturanga, lowering the knees, the chest, the chin. Keeping the elbows in, and then open your front body. Inhaling and lifting. Downward facing dog, extend through your back body as we breathe out. Three breaths here, enjoy them. Inhale together. Flutter your lips, exhale. <laughs> breathe in. Now stick your tongue out, lion's breath, breathe out. <sighs> One more cycle of breath and you can take it however you need it. So inhale. Exhale. Okay, my loves, look forward at your hands. Walk or even jump the feet forward. Press down through the feet and then roll the body all the way up to standing. Hands to the body, just drop into stillness for a moment, but start to feel that aliveness. Feel that lightness. 
and then feel your breath again, using the breath as a gateway to that sacredness within you and to the sacredness around you as you sense and feel and perceive all of the people that are breathing right now as you take a deep breath in and then a deep breath out. Gorgeous, my love. Stay with the breath. Blink your eyes open. Second round, we will add a little on if you want to. So go ahead, sweep the arms all the way up. Salute the sun, thumbs are gonna touch. Exhale, fold forward. Salute mother earth. Drop the skull, soften through the face. Halfway lift, fingers to shins or under the shoulders. Exhale, high plank, glide the feet back. And then lower to the knees on the exhale. Or high plank to low plank if you're feeling super strong today. Open the chest, back bend, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Okay, listen, the right leg goes high to the sky. We breathe in. Shift forward, skulking in the back. Breathe out, toe to head, head to toe. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, right knee in. And then right foot forward. Okay, half moon. Right hand to the right side of the yoga mat. Left leg lifts up. We open the hip and reach the left arm up and over. Option, you can stay here or just like how we started, we will pulse, building strength. So if you're pulsing, come with me, take a breath in. As you breathe out, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. And again, inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it in. One more, inhale. Exhale. Gorgeous, reach forwards and backwards. And then if you want it, you can bend the knee, reaching the hand to grab to the ankle. Flexing the foot, kicking the shin back and opening the chest. Half moon, bind it. Open your heart space and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, left foot is gonna glide back with no drama, warrior two. Whew, should be building a little bit of heat now. Skandasana all the way to the back of the yoga mat. So turn the toes out, bend the knee and lower the hips. Lifting your chest, take a moment, inhale. Exhale, we twist to the back of the yoga mat. Okay, option. The right hand is under your right shoulder. Left arm lifts up. Option A is dropping the right knee. Option B is spinning the toes to the left. Option C now is taking it to a, to a side plank. Wiggling the left foot to stack on the right foot. Lifting the left arm high, opening through your chest and engaging your abdominal wall. Allowing that strength to be the gateway to your internal self, to your resilience, to your determination, to your focus. And then just like that, it's over. High plank, lower. <laughs> Open, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Just one beautiful breath together, inhale, exhale. Left side we go and then it's on the road to relaxation. So left leg up, bend the knee, shift forward and scalp in the back. Re-extend and breathe in. Foot forward on the breath out. Half moon, so left hand floats further forward and then we lift the right leg up. Stacking the hips, reaching the right arm up and over us. Options, you can stay or maybe you wanna pulse with me, breathing in. As you breathe out, elbow to knee. Whew. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw it in. One more, stay strong, inhale. Exhale. Gorgeous, reach forwards and backwards and then bend the knee. Option to grab hold of the ankle. Everything is optional, everything is an invitation. You know your body best. So listen and move and breathe into your body that you've been given for this lifetime. So enjoy it. Now connect to your life force, inhale. As we exhale, we will come all the way through warrior two. How slow can you go? Slow is strong. Skandasana to the front. Right knee bends, 
lower the hip to the right heel. Soften through your bottom half, but then stay lifted through your upper half. Inhale. Exhale to the front of the yoga mat. Left hand is under the left shoulder. Right arm is up to the sky. Three options. You can drop the left knee. We're here for about five breaths. You can spin the toes to the right, to the long side of the yoga mat. You can wiggle that right foot to step on the left foot, side plank. Wherever you are, lift your hips, take the gaze up and breathe in your body, inhale. High plank, exhale. Lower down with control, with integrity, with intention. Because where intention goes, energy flows. So let the energy flow through the spine as you lift it up. Downward facing dog. And then drop to the knees and come to child's pose. So bring the knees wide, send your hips to your heels and extend your arms forward. Forehead to earth. Take a moment to just rest, to recalibrate, to relax to restore, to experience that recalculation of your body-mind. Drinking up all of that juice, all of that medicine and deep remembrance of why you're practicing today. To create some space, to expand, to raise your vibration, to shift and change your frequency. We practice all is coming, so be brave, be fierce, be free. And take one more freeing breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely stuff. Let's start to come back to down dog. Just for a transition, we're on the road to relaxation now. So the right leg's going to go high. And then we'll draw the right knee behind the right wrist. So we're prepping for pigeon pose. Shin comes down onto the yoga mat to a diagonal. Drop the left knee and just send it further back. So lower down through your trunk, through the bottom half of your body so we can start to stretch the hip flexor and the right outer hip. Now take a moment to just lift the chest. Breathe into it. Then as we breathe out, we'll begin to fold forward, coming down to the forearms, softening down all the way to the forehead. I'm gonna give you about 60 seconds here, dropping into stillness. Even though stillness might just be the hardest quality to achieve right now. But using this time as an opportunity to just witness, to observe, to notice what comes through, what comes up. We're always so quick to fill moments of silence, but this space and this time that you've given yourself to practice is enough. Now come back to your breath practice. Breathe in long, and then breathe out deep. And then let's have you lift your chest back up. Drop onto your right hip and swing the left leg round and we'll just begin to release the back body and counteract all of them back bends. So figure eight pose, the sole of the right foot is gonna to come to the inside of the left thigh. Ground down through your hips, lift the arms up, take a breath in. As you breathe out, you're gonna to twist to the left, towards the left leg, and then fold over it. And you're just gonna go on your own journey. So you can drop your hands. You can even keep the chest lifted. If you have the range of motion to lower the chest, bringing the hands to that left foot, then the option is there too. I don't live in your body, but you do, so you know what's best. You go to the place that feels best for you, that feels good. If it doesn't feel good, just back off. Try to just speak to every single thing that you feel with the breath. When we can speak to all the sensations of the breath, we can shift our mindset from being so goal-orientated to just enjoying this bodily experience. So breathe into your body, inhale. Exhale. Nice, now lift the chest back up. Cross your feet, my loves. Shift yourself forward. Step to a downward facing dog. Left side, so sweep the left leg high. Draw the left knee behind the left wrist. 
shin comes down at a diagonal, so eventually the left hip is close to the right hip flexor. We shift the right knee back so we can surrender some more through the hips, taking a moment to lift the chest and preparing properly as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, fold forward, soften, sink down, and just drop into stillness. Close your eyes. Again, just become the observer, noticing, witnessing. When we think we create, and when we react, we accept. And when we feel, we connect. So notice what you're feeling. Notice what you're reacting to. Notice what you're thinking about. Your awareness is your greatest resource, so draw all of your awareness in. And then breathe in. Breathe out. Chest lift. Soften onto that left hip, and then swing the right leg round. And just like a jigsaw piece, the sole of the left foot should be the inside of the right thigh. Flex through the right toes, ground down through your sitting bones and lift the arms, inhaling. Twist to the right, towards the right leg and fold on over it as you exhale. Again, you just go on your own little adventure, physically and emotionally. Essentially, we're just releasing any tightness in the lower back and the thoracic spine. But then mentally, we're beginning to set our dial to softening now. To transition from humans doing to humans being, being softer and more gentle and more still. Now take a slow, steady breath in. Nourishing breath out. And then with this ease, lift the chest all the way back up. Drop the feet to the earth. Place the hands behind the backs of your knees. And we'll use that connection to roll the body all the way down to the yoga mat. Arriving in our final position of this practice. So extend your legs all the way forward and down. And let your toes just fall away from one another. So allowing the action to act as a domino effect for the rest of the body. So drop your arms, wherever feels right. Drop your eyelids. And then let's collectively just lie down for a few moments so we can have all sides of the yoga practice. The vapor, the steam, the integration, the liberation. So close down your eyes if you haven't already. Relax, release, and let go. And if you can't let go of whatever you've got going on, then just let it be. the hands back behind them, using that connection to rock yourself through to a seated position, just like how we started. Sit up tall, and then bring your hands to prayer position at the center of your chest. 
and bow your chin in towards your chest as a sign that you cross over the bridge from thinking to feeling, from intellectualizing to experiencing, from your head to your heart. And then soften your heart all the way forward towards the earth and let this mudra, let this sign, let this symbol be the completion of this practice. Namaste. Namaste, my loves. It's been my honor to guide you. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.